Okay, so this is going to be our last giving update. It's going to be pretty quick. It'll be maybe seven, eight minutes long. And all I'm going to do is show you this video. Greg is going to show you one item after another after another to show you visually what you have purchased, what's going to be going over to Ukraine. Uh, and when it's done, I will show you how much more uh, your giving has gone up since yesterday. Tomorrow will be our last update until, well, once Greg's in country, you'll start to see him giving things out, and we'll, we'll periodically tell you about it. But we're not gonna we're gonna kind of shut down the fundraiser. The links will still be there anytime you want to give. But as far as us pushing on a fundraiser, like hey, look, we have this. Please help donate. We want to find out what the most acute need is once we're there, and then not we there. Once Greg's there, once he's there. We'll find out the most acute need, and then we'll try to be as efficient as possible in meeting that particular need while he's distributing the aid that you've already uh, generated so far. And for that, thank you so much. It's been just mind-numbing to see just how generous you all are. It's I, I can't express enough thanks. Okay, here's the video with Greg now. All right, guys, here we are. I consider this actually day one because I'm... Overwhelmed with a capital O and a capital D at the end of it. It's just amazing how the global community has come together. All these supporters of Ukraine on YouTube and these communities, Dr. Gertis, Johnny, Rick, Warthog, and more to come. I consider today day one because today is my pack day. <laughs> because you guys have not let me pack for five days. I've been so busy. So... Packing is underway. The air shipment that will meet me in Ukraine, we're gonna wait about five, six, seven days to make sure everything comes in because we have so much stuff coming in this week. Of course, there were no deliveries on New Year's Day. Um, so that puts some of our deliveries behind with New Year's Eve, New Year's Day. But it's all coming and it's getting there. Additionally, I want to thank all of you for responding with the maps, meaning giving your city, giving your country, giving your state, whatever it may be. The map is unbelievable. The amount of support globally coming for Ukraine. And I'm going to share those maps directly with the guys on the front line and you're going to witness it. So as I'm still packing, Dr. Gertis giving the update um, in regard to the financial numbers and remember we're completely transparent 100% and always will be you're going to watch all of this unfold and you know if you're not subscribed with the notification bell on I highly recommend it not to watch me but to watch Ukraine and to see what's happening there I'm going to be there for almost three months so I want to do this and then I'll shoot it back to Dr. Gerges so what has arrived <coughs> everything uh, not everything that's been ordered, but I want you to see it in my hands. It's really here, guys. Here is some of the quick clot advance um, clotting gauze. And yes, I'm going to take as much stuff with me as physically possible, even <clears throat> buying two extra bags. I called Delta Airlines today and I said, okay, I'm t carrying two bags of medical aid over for Ukraine. And unfortunately, I, I'm a I'm a million miler on Delta Airlines, and and Delta's always been very good to me. So no no bad. Please don't message Delta. But their agent today, maybe because he had to work on New Year's Day, was very rude to me. I said, hey, how about cutting me a deal on um, shipping over some medical aid to Ukraine? He said, no, we're not doing that. It's going to be three hundred fifty dollars a bag. I said, excuse me. He says, no, no. $350 a bag. I said, well, may I speak to your manager? He said, no, $350 a bag. Have a good day. And literally hung up on me. I'm not a happy Delta person right now, but Delta's been good to me for 25 years. So don't message them. So there's quick clotting gauze. Chest seals vented. These are the rhinos. Some people like them, some people don't, but this was specifically requested from the front line. This type for reasons, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm not a medic. Or a surgeon, but we they're coming in like crazy. Trauma shears. I think we sold them out. We're working on something with trauma shears. You guys stay tuned. Uh, your tactical gloves you've been buying, they're here. Thermals. The thermals you bought are actually two packs, one army green, one black, 
And I'm just going to be honest with you, I have the same kind. This is what was recommended from all my other runs. These are unbelievable high quality thermals. We also have the, uh, these are the non-vented chest seals, ready to roll. These are the balaclavas that you purchased. This is the Everlet Z-Fold gauze. We added that, you guys are buying it. Listen, keep buying this. This Z-Fold gauze is so highly requested. Um, a couple of last things here, and then we'll shoot it back to Dr. Gertis. Here is the IFAC, uh, the tactical IFACs. These things are awesome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Going straight to Ukraine. These are the Genuine Cat 7 uh, Silvers, gray tabs, singles that you've been buying up the wazoo. Keep buying them. Number one thing needed. Now, I'm going to open this one, but when we transport, we will not. This is the two packs of tourniquets you guys have been buying. Um, so I just want you to see them. Here they are. The two packs of Cat 7s and ready to go. So guys, that's where we're at. Thank you so much. You see behind me here, Slava Ukraini, Geroim Slava. That is actually written in the Ukrainian language. And I've got my little flag there. And thank you, guys. All right, had to take it one step further. So guys, you've seen me with the gear. Now it's going in the cases, heading to Ukraine tomorrow. Everything here. Well, not everything here. Everything I can possibly take, plus the extra bags. So you see, you see, you see the chest seals, vented and unvented. You see the quick clock gauze, tourniquets, single packs, two packs. Um, there's the two packs. I'm going to be continuing to load, but I just, I want you to see it. Here we go, guys. Let's cook it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so I told you that after that video, we're going to go back through the spreadsheet and look at what has been given so far. And it looks like uh, like you've sold out a number of different categories over here. And when we get to the total Amazon, $69,000 and change in Amazon. Online cash donations of $41,000 and another $4,000 through PayPal for a grand total of $116,000. 167 and 13 cents in US dollars. I it's it's absolutely amazing folks. Thank you for your generosity. I I mean, I don't even know how to continue to say thank you, thank you, thank you. If you're watching this, I'm posting this at about 5:30 US uh, East Coast time in the US. Uh Greg will be on tonight in a live stream and he will uh talk more about this if anybody wants to talk with him live during the live stream. Thank you again, and we will see you tomorrow.